today at Chattanooga State with Dravina Strua and Joshua Nelson and your local weather forecast from Tyler Brown. Hello, I'm Davina. And I'm Josh. So Davina, what's your favorite class so far this year? Well, without being biased, I would have to say TV production. TV production? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's a good... See, I like all my classes, but I feel like the only problem is I can't get to any of them because the parking is so atrocious. Oh, yeah. Um, I thought that that would kind of like chill out after all of the financial aid checks went out, but no, no, of course not. I was about to say, yeah, nobody wants to leave, so hey, but that's a good thing, right? More money for Chat State, yep. right? <laughs> Anyways, here's a look at some things happening on campus. Named after the lake where the first meeting of its kind was held, a Chautauqua brings members of the community together to enjoy inspirational performances and lectures. The Humanities and Fine Arts Division invites you to join us for their first Chautauqua presentation of the fall semester, Thursday, September 19, from 2 to 3 p.m. in the Humanities Room 133. Dr. Anna Harrington will speak on An Insider's Guide to Downton Abbey, a behind-the-scenes look at history, manners, and the aristocracy of Edwardian England, which provides an insider's glimpse into Edwardian country life and aristocracy as portrayed in the hit masterpiece series Downton Abbey. Everyone is welcome. Yahoo Fest is Chattanooga's only young adult book festival. The festival is sponsored by Chattanooga State's Writers at Work program in partnership with the Southern Lit Alliance. In addition to appearances by authors of young adult and middle grade literature, Yahoo Fest will include book sales and signings, food, vendors, and music from Spinster. Check out a recording of First Draft with Sarah Enney, a critically renowned podcast on Friday night. Then on Saturday, the kickoff event for the weekend features Jeff Zentner, who always brings a high energy presentation. The Friday night event is $5 and all events on Saturday are free and open to Chattanooga State's faculty, staff, and students. And wow, that's a lot of art and culture happening around here, so be sure to come out. For sure, guys, you gotta come out next year. Uh, and Tyler, by the way, what's our weather looking like out there? Thanks for asking, Josh. We've had some really hot and steamy weather for a while, but we're finally starting to see a little break in the heat. You may recall uh, all of the orange and red on this map weather where heat was lingering in the south after summer, but it's a little more yellow, which means mid-80s temperatures. A few thunderstorms popping up in the afternoons, but still no rain to speak of around all of <laughs> a while yet. Let's take a look at the seven-day forecast. High today of 86 degrees, today in partly cloudy, sunny on Friday, and through the weekend with temperatures in the 80s. Then heating back up to the 90s in the middle of the next week. Try to get out this weekend while we've got no heat in, in the week. And back to you guys. Jess State helped kick off Hispanic Heritage Month last Saturday. On September 14th, Chet State hosted the fifth annual Latin Fest celebrating the vibrancy and diversity of Latino culture in our area. The event welcomed family and friends to experience the colors, costumes, and cultures of different regions of Latin America. Latin Fest showcased performances from local groups and artists sharing the richness of Latino culture. Latin Fest also featured a market of beautiful handmade goods, bachata dance lessons, and seriously, some of the best Latin food Chattanooga has to offer. All proceedings from Latin Fest go to support Chattanooga State students through the Chattanooga State Latino Scholarship. And Davina, you know, that is just such an awesome opportunity for people, you know, of all diverse cultures to come to Chattanooga State and, you know, add to the already growing diversity of Chattanooga State. That's very true. And, you know, like with all of these problems happening in our world right now, it's really important that we unify, you know, as a people and really come together. And this is a great way for us to start doing that. Oh, for sure. I 100% agree. And well, that's going to be it for today at Chat State. Be sure to watch us online and in the amphitheater. Have a great day.